It's October 16th, and uh, this is, uh, you know, the good news. Um, head story, lead story, uh, this blue screen probably still isn't working. Uh, the engineers here really suck, you know, in spite of uh, all their talk. It's all big talk. But anyway, um, so, um, yeah, we have a story about banks, you know, um, and... Uh, <sighs> hundred billion dollars in loans, bailout, whatever you want to call it. Uh, there's been a report that the uh, cancer rate uh, dropped two percent in between 19, between 2002 and 2005. It's not really huge news, uh, but anyway, <coughs> uh, the rich are getting richer. There's another report. Um, just time for a Palestinian state, says Condoleezza Rice. That's right. Um, an Afghan bomber, yeah, blows himself and his family up, <laughs> you know, suicide, really good suicide there. Um, AOL, you know, the huge giant company that uh, Time Warner bought for a preposterously huge amount of money that isn't worth 10 cents, um, yeah, they're cutting their workforce by 20%. And uh, there might be some other items I'll throw in, but we'll see if we get to them. All right, so, so first this this banking thing. We'll, we'll do th th that story first. Um, yeah, who knows what this is? I mean, it's a deal between like the three major biggest banks, and they make this deal, and it has to do with you know short-term loans to um, you know special customers, and it's supposed to be all secured loans, and somehow it's supposed to relieve them of all this um, bad debt burden that they've got, you know, because now they'll be able to replace good debt with bad debt and all this bullshit, but just it doesn't sound too good. And I don't know how much of this is federally insured, which is the real question. I mean, is, the, we're just, is this just going to be a way to create some gimmick that, you know, puts the federal government on the hook for uh, you know, this money when everything goes sour. Um, so I don't really know. The story doesn't tell you enough. Um, so anyway, the uh, next story is this uh, cancer rate drops. Yeah, and it's, uh, if, you know, colon rectal cancer, colon rectal cancer. I mean, I could just say colon cancer is probably good enough. Uh, you don't have to say anus cancer or butthole can, you know, not to get too descriptive. Um, so anyway, another story, pretty vague, uh, you know, in terms of Okay, uh, so are they dying from something else? Are people actually living longer? Uh, what's the implication of this story? That part, no, we don't get that. Oh, shoot, Ty. Uh, better spend more money on my uh, wardrobe. Um, so, and then there was the, but the interesting thing was the rich are getting richer. Uh, you know, I think I have the details here. Um, you know, report released. Oh, this is terrible. Very unprofessional. Um, yeah, I thought these numbers were sort of interesting. I mean, they're pretty close to what I knew they were. These are two, 2005 numbers, I think. Uh, so the, um, you know, the middle number, the middle wage number is $31,000. So 50% of the working population makes under $31,000, and 50% makes over $31,000. And uh, the, that bottom 50% owns only 12% of the economy. Uh, so, and the top 1% of income earners, uh, you know, they, they own 20% um, of the 21% of the entire income, of the entire, uh, they do 21% of the income earning. So 21% of all income earned is earned by that top 1%. Uh, you know, and it says apparently these are the worst numbers in 80 years. Uh, you know, they could have just said worst numbers since the Great Depression, uh, you know, right before the Great Depression. Um, and uh, yeah, you know, and that just sort of indicates where we are heading. Uh, it's a pretty sad commentary, I think, uh, on Republican policy, uh, tax breaks for the rich, and, and uh, cuts in inheritance taxes. But anyway, people don't like rhetoric, so that's just the news. Um, Okay, Condoleezza Rice says it's time for a Palestinian state. Everybody says it's time for a Palestinian state. How many times have we actually heard this come out of a government official's mouth in the last 20 years? And what happens? Nothing. So that's what will happen. Nothing. 
Uh, there was sort of a funny story, um, Afghanistan, uh, you know, a suicide bomber, I guess, was apparently all ready to go, and his, his mommy, his mother, um, didn't want him to go blow himself up for the cause, and uh, so she apparently, um, you know, uh, tripped his suicide bombing suit and blew himself and her and, I guess, his sister or something up. So, I mean, it's kind of a very sad story, but, you know, it's kind of funny, you know, it's suicide bomber, try to save him, save him from doing something, and that's what you get. Um, okay, AOL, cutting 20% of their worldwide um, workforce, and the story says, as the company moves to becoming an advertising con con company, you know, and this is the big irritant is that all, I mean, everything on the internet is becoming an advertising company. I mean, that's what Google is. That's what the, the whole internet is run on marketing crap, on middleman marketing shit. It's the shitter net. And, and uh, no direct lines between production and consumption, you know, that the logic dictated the internet would produce. Nothing like that. No. Instead, we have even more marketing. We're paying even more of a marketing tax on everything we buy. Um, all the value of the internet is essentially just sucked right out of it. Uh, and it's just so unnecessary, so stupid. Um, really dumb plan. This is what happens when you, when you let corporations decide how a resource is going to be used. They'll just turn it into shit. Um, so let's see, let's see what else we got here. Yeah, there was a record shark caught, uh, you know, off of Texas. I guess it was a Mako shark, uh, 844 pounds. And, um, and you know, the, the story says record, but actually it wasn't a record. I mean, it was a record for this local tournament record, you know, which is kind of lame to, you know, have a national story saying the word record when it's really not a record. And uh, it was sort of irritating when you read the details. I mean, these guys went out fishing, and, you know, they weren't catching the grouper they were really after, I guess. Well, anyway, so some shark kept eating their fish as they were catching them. And so they decide to, you know, get the shark, and so they did. And, uh, but, you know, so it's kind of a sad way for a, yeah, you know, you don't like to see those, the bigger, grander animals getting, you know, killed that way. I mean, it's a shark, I mean, but still, you know, it's sort of an indignity. Um, so let's see, what the hell is that? I can't even read that writing there, so I won't bother with that story. And then there was a little bit on Bush, you know, he's, he's going to have this big fight with the Democrats over spending. And, uh, you know, it's all over $20 billion worth. I mean, so he's going to veto some stuff, and they'll argue about the necessity of it. It's over $20 billion. I mean, we waste that much in Iraq in a month. Um, you know, so this, this is the pitiful state of affairs that we are in, that, uh, you know, that's the big budget talk is going to involve, you know, a, a minute percentage of what this asshole president has cost us. Uh, and so I guess that would be it. I didn't really imitate anybody. I could imitate the shark. Uh, ah, there's a hook in my mouth! And he's flipping around. Flip, 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 flip. Ah, I'm exhausted. I'm so damn tired. Okay, got me all this. Oh no, what are they doing with that big hook? Oh, ew, they jab me with the hook. Oh, they jab me with the hook. Oh. And I'm still kind of flipping around a little. And then they try to f pull me into the boat, but I don't fit in the boat. So they have to just drag me behind the boat. Oh, just, eh, I'm dying. I'm bleeding to death. Eh.